all right hello there welcome back to another wee bit different video today's video gonna be doing a quick rundown of uh i sigh because it's just super depressing to really talk about how bad is the new madden people have shit on it shit on it shit on it year after year after year after year after year i didn't want to be someone who just got on a video and just shat on it just for views or anything like that i actually wanted to give my general um feed or my genuine feedback is the term i'm looking for my genuine feedback and i'm very frustrated with this game because after seeing reports that it's going to be a do or die kind of mentality from ea you know i pre-ordered the game super stoked to play it my girlfriend actually bought it for me so my girlfriend pre-ordered the game for me <laughs> or she handed me a playstation gift card and i i went from there <laughs> anyway was how buggy the ui was i was just like dude what the hell is this it's taking forever just to mind you mind you before i elaborate any further i'm on ps5 so it's not like i'm on some last gen shit this game just is is being played on something that shouldn't be played on no i'm on fucking ps5 current gen or next gen if you're still on that but i'm struggling to go from page to page and it's like okay all right it's fine it's not the end of the world it's not the biggest lag uh from page to page it's just it's annoying it's a nuisance but let's just go let's just move forward so then i start franchise immediately i make my quarterback and franchise mode from the very get is like super bland super super bland you know you do the whole combine thing cringy ass uh scenes uh, the guy's name is cap now you know they, i i just think that it was super cringy anyway you do the, the basic drills you know what i mean which i don't even know if they're that rewarding or not i couldn't tell you uh they they were allowed to be retried time and time again so i took three tries probably for almost each or maybe like a one try for like the cone drill but every other drill i took like two or three tries to get a gold medal on and then that was kind of that finished it went straight to preseason uh after a couple more cutscenes, and who you got drafted by i was drafted by the raiders anyway a couple more cutscenes, and the thing that was really frustrating for me is it felt largely the same I noticed immediately though, after several plays, that there was some new tackling mechanics, which I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, visually, there's a new scoreboard up top. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but just a lot of the same. Uh, nothing entirely different at all. I feel like last Madden, they nailed it with the field sense. I thought that was actually a big improvement. Uh, this doesn't feel further elaborated on. It doesn't feel, they call it 2.0. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is 2.0 about it. It feels the exact same. And I've been playing Madden every single year for a very, very, very long time. Uh, but just doing that was like, wow, this is really largely the same. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, to add some positives to this is there is a lot more hair options that have significantly better texture on them like it actually looks real as opposed to just like slimy or fake right like some hair options like Devonte adams for example if you see him in in live game his hair looks like he has straight hair but then in the loading screen or on the screen where you look at the player profile it's back to like the braids in the player profiles and in the loading screen the hair has amazing texture on your my player or my superstar whatever you want to call it he has amazing texture but as good as the updated hair is there's still that problem of like yeah why is someone like Devonte adams look like he has straight hair in the middle of the games like that's just that just to me can't happen authenticity is super important on players of that caliber especially and his hair looked totally off i was like wow this is awful uh, speaking of hair customization the customizations as a whole Again, uh, maneuvering around it was super annoying because of the shitty UI. Like it was just super slow, not at all respond quick. Like it's not snappy, it didn't respond quick. You couldn't go from page to page. It was like, all right, you press X, it takes 10 seconds to fuck. I'm mean, over exaggeration, but it's like, it takes a while to just get in, scroll page to page, look at different shoes, gloves, whatever the case may be. It was just like, dude, 
come on this is like the basic thing you do when you brawl out a game is you make sure that they can access the basics which is dude a customization scene i mean a customization screen but again i will say there's a lot more variety to the customization you can do a lot more than you have in previous maddens so that was still cool uh something else that i that really bothered me so bad so so bad is this game did not feel worthwhile with rewards it rewarded you with very little points like the blue points to buy customizable stuff like very little i i, I completed the whole season uh for franchise mode and i was just like damn this is fucking awful absolutely awful like there's there is no rewards they, they don't incentivize you to do anything like with 2k it feels like there's a shit ton to do you know you have a whole park to run around whole park whole area whole neighborhood madden there's no facility you're just you're just in the same fucking spot loading screen then you play oh all right and then there's just three same practice drills that you can do every time like what is that like who thought that was a good idea like honestly they need a facility they need a facility to walk around stuff to do like 2k does it perfectly with the neighborhood madden needs that People want to say 2K is the same every... No, dude. At least they got way more than what Madden does for football. It's fucking bad. And the crowd still looks awful. The sidelines are still awful. Uh, it's just like, dude, when... When is it going to change? So, I don't know. I'm beyond frustrated with it because I enjoy football and football is really fun. And I'm still going to try and, you know, play the game through its updates that they add, hopefully cool stuff but i just feel like until people stop buying the game people like me to be honest with you i don't want to be hypocrite here because i pre-order the fucking game so i i am on this list uh but until people stop buying it they're just not going to change uh talked about it before but the rewards are just so bad dude and then you i finished the season and it's like all right back to preseason here we are nothing's changed I'm just like, what the, f <laughs> what the fuck is that? I just won the Super Bowl. Cool. Now we're immediately back to the season. Immediately. Or preseason. And now they give the option to skip preseason. I'm just like, what's the fucking point, dude? Like, I want my, I want it to be real to where my character has to grind in the offseason. I got to put in massive work. Like, NBA, they at least have Summer League, bro. Or, you know, they player progression you know you can see all the changes like there's no fucking changes in the offseason in madden there's zero so it's like i don't understand what what it's gonna take for them to get their head of their asses that nobody wants to play a superstar mode and just play games they want to experience what it is to be a superstar they want to see it from that from that lens and you don't get to see any of that at all throughout this shitty superstar mode like it's i have my notes here next to me writing some stuff that bothered me about it uh, talking about again the superstar the franchise mode for the specific player again there are your tabs of things to do and they give you extra stat boost for the game why is there a no spare time workout tab like the game already runs super clunky i don't want to have to fucking put okay Click on no spare time workout, maxed out day, nothing to do. It gives me nothing, there's nothing out of it, and it just gets rid of the tab. Why is that a thing? Don't even fucking have it there. Just get rid of it all entirely. The UI is too slow to have anything extra um, there. It, it's just bad. Also, one thing that really pissed me off is there's no resuming games. You have to be logged on online at all times, at all times to continue a game it's just bad i'm the type of person who will put my playstation 5 on rest mode and I'll be like i'll finish this game later i'm like busy doing something let me focus on something else turn the playstation 5 back on oh you lost ea server so we're fucking this game over for you we're blowing it up do it again i'm just like dude i've had to do it like four or five times where i'm like oh shit i forgot i can't continue the game because in previous maddens you could but for some reason they took it away in this one so i don't know why i have no idea why they did that and then they're like, oh, um, we're going to get you sponsored by this brand. And then, like, they just never talk about it again. 
Like, dude, I did a whole season. <laughs> it seems like they only really care about Mutt and just making cards that appeal to the Mutt community. Because, <laughs> let's be honest, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about franchise mode with, with all that they're doing. And then gameplay-wise, there isn't enough change. There's too much bullshit that happens in game. Like, I would literally run back like five steps and if I get my feet set and throw it, it doesn't matter how I, like, cause I have the new passing field sense to where it's like, it's accuracy and and then the free form. I don't have power in, in free form. I have accuracy in free form. Like the preferred one that they recommend for skill. So I mastered that. But if you're running back and then you throw it, it just completely fucking, it messes up the throw. Even if you, no matter how accurate you make it, if you run back, then get your feet set. Again, five steps, then get your feet set and then make the throw. The throw will just be fucking bad. I'm just like, dude, what is that? Yeah, though, there's a lot of problems to this game. Uh, franchise is, is as awful as ever. Uh, the social media tab isn't half bad, but there's, <laughs> they can do so much more than that. Uh, the gameplay itself, like I said, is just pretty much the same. Just some couple of new animations, couple of new catching mechanics. Uh, they went harder on celebrations, which is cool, but you got to make the game fun first before any of this other shit. And the game, the game is, like I said, 2.0 my ass. It's the fucking same. <laughs> it's the fucking same. But let me know what you guys think of Madden 24. Uh, I'm I'm pretty disappointed because I actually had some expectations for the first time in a long time after reading the whole do or die kind of thing and you know actually right here really quickly uh, let's look at the reviews they're not good 1.6 out of 5 on Google uh, 6 out of 10 on IGN but IGN is just not putting it any lower just so that they stay on good terms with EA so don't don't take IGN's word for it. Games Radar 2 out of 5. 39% liked this video game on Google, which is awful. I mean, if you just go to the audience reviews here, uh, dude, people like this person is genuinely passionate about EA. Look how much fucking thought he put into this and gave it one star. Like he clearly wants to like the game. Nobody replies with this much shit, right? All of this and wants to dislike a game. They really, I even read it before I actually did this uh, video, right? I was like, oh, let me see what other people think about it. Maybe my opinion will change like if, if everyone loves it and I'm just nitpicking. But no, people have the same problems as me. To be honest, my opinion wouldn't have changed, but I, w I was curious anyway. Uh, yeah, this person loves it. Uh, again, 1.6. So that's cool. You know, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it, cool. But to those of us who actually, like, like care about a great, polished video game, to those of us that actually just want an acceptable franchise mode, to those of us that just want to see a game in a studio, or sorry, a developer in EA to actually give a shit about its game, this is a big disappointment. 1.6 is very valid. 39% on Google is very valid. 2 out of 5 on Games Radar is very valid. IGN is just sucking up to EA not to get on bad terms with them. Uh, Metacritic, I actually didn't see. That's something we should actually see real quick before I end the video. Because uh, Metacritic, yeah, 1.8 uh, user scores. People want to say, it, there's no one that can say this is review bombed. No, the game is just, yeah, the game is just bad. Uh, 1.8. Anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, this is Ollie Been Different. All we've been different. And we out.